In this video, I'm gonna walk through five Squarespace SEO tips that absolutely anybody watching this video is going to be able to walk away from and apply to their website so that they can rank higher up on Google and ultimately track target customers. I'm gonna give you these SEO tips in a complete jargon-free way. So even if you're a complete beginner or seasoned SEO pro, you're gonna learn how to actually move the needle when it comes to your Squarespace site and ranking on Google. And if you're new here, my name's Henry Purchase and I made the SEO plugin for Squarespace, SEO space. And in the past 12 months alone, I've helped over 5,000 Squarespace users rank higher up on Google. I've also presented an official SEO webinar for Squarespace, as well as contributed to the Squarespace Pros blog. So if you want to accelerate your SEO journey, learn from the countless mistakes that I've seen across thousands of Squarespace websites, this is the place to be. But getting straight into it, the first Squarespace SEO tip that I'm going to give you is something that if you do anything after watching this video I want you to make sure you follow and what this tip is is connecting your Squarespace website to Google Search Console. Google Search Console is Google's native platform where you actually tell Google that you're ready to be displayed on search engines. It's also where you see all the data of what keywords you're being found for i.e what people are typing in and finding you on Google so it's super important that you set it up but fortunately Squarespace makes it super super easy. All you're going to do is log on to the Squarespace dashboard and head over to settings. Then what you're going to do is head over to third party tools and then select connected accounts. Once you're here, all you're going to do is press connect account and then press search console. Now I've already set up Google search console, so I'm not going to take you through that process. However, it's super easy. You just connect Squarespace to your Google account, which automatically sets up search console. Now, once you're actually on the Google search console platform, do not stop there. Cause as I mentioned, this is actually a platform where you tell Google that you want to be displayed on search engines. And all you need to do in order to do this is head over to sitemaps here. And then in this box, I just want you to type sitemap.xml. And this is essentially where you submit a map of all the pages on your Squarespace website to Google to say, hey, Google, I'm ready to rank on search engines. And this is probably the thing, if you're not showing up yet, it's going to automatically mean you're going to jump up on search engines. So now we've got the most important tip out of the way. We're now going to move on to tip two. And tip two is making sure that you have all the key information filled in on your Squarespace web pages so that you can communicate communicate to Google what you actually want to rank for. And again, Squarespace makes this super, super easy. All I want you to do is head over to pages and then every single page on your Squarespace website is going to have this little settings cog here. And what I want you to do is click on this, head over to SEO. And from here, you're going to edit two things, your SEO title and your SEO description. And essentially what these are is your SEO title is the linked text that shows up on certain engines here and your SEO description is the text that shows up here and this is super important because if you don't fill this out Google's potentially going to pick up any random text on your Squarespace website maybe your heading maybe content on the page so by filling this in we're actively telling Google how we want to display up on search engines so that we look professional and we're able to show for the right keywords. And what I want you to do in general is make sure that it's between 50 and 60 characters. So make this between 50 and 60 characters and make this between 150 and 160 characters. Now, one thing that I also want you to do is include your target keyword in your SEO title and in your SEO description. I'm not going to go into full detail how to find your target keyword, just like I'm not going to go into further detail about how to use Google Search Console in this video from tip one. However, I've got completely free videos on my YouTube channel about how to do this. So head over to the first and second link in description if you want to learn how to use Google Search Console and how to find and use keywords. So now we've covered tip two, which is filling in the key information on your Squarespace web pages. We're now going to move on to tip three. And this tip, to be honest, is something that you probably don't want to hear. However, it's actually one of the most important things when it comes to ranking your Squarespace website higher up on Google and getting found by target customers. Tip three is blogging. You need to add a blog on your Squarespace website and at a minimum blog at least once every single month. 
Again, fortunately, Squarespace makes it super, super easy. All you have to do in order to add a blog is press this plus button on pages and then click blog here. And Squarespace is going to natively allow you to add a blog within its platform where it's very, very easy to create blog posts, as you can see here that I've done on my site. And the reason that this is super important is because when you actually look at ranking factors, i.e. the things that Google looks at when it decides what ranks on page one of Google, you'll actually see that the most important important ranking factor, i.e. the most important thing when it comes to ranking high up on Google is consistently publishing high quality content. And then actually when you go down to the fourth most important thing, you can see it's niche expertise. So two of the four most important things when it comes to ranking high up on Google is writing high quality content, usually in the form of blog posts and showing that you're an expert within your niche. For example, I'm the Squarespace SEO expert, so I'm consistently posting between two and four blog posts on my website every single month. Because this not only shows users that I'm the expert, but it also shows Google that I'm the expert so that I rank higher up for target keywords in my industry, such as Squarespace SEO Expert, Squarespace SEO Plugin, and Squarespace SEO Course. Now, hopefully you're still with me after I've told you that you should be blogging. I know this is something to add on your never ending to-do list, but I promise you when you get it right, it really will move the needle on your Squarespace site. But moving on to the full Squarespace SEO tip. This is actually compressing images on your Squarespace website. Now, the reason that we want to do this is historically, when it comes to Squarespace SEO, Squarespace has been hit pretty hard when it comes to page loading speed. Squarespace websites typically don't have a very fast page loading speed. So when it comes to actually speeding up your Squarespace website, one of the best things that we can do is compress our images below 250 kilobytes. Squarespace recommends 500 kilobytes, However, in my opinion, because Squarespace page speed isn't great, I think that you should be doing everything within your control in order to maximize your SEO and compressing images is one of these. So what I want you to do is head over to your Squarespace website, find any images that need to be compressed. You can use SEO space, which is actually something I'll be touching upon later. And all you need to do is download the image, head over to imagecompressor.com, add the image, download it, re-upload it to your Squarespace website, press save, and from there, the compressor image will be live. Now, one thing that I do recommend, and this is a bit of a bonus tip, is always re-download and check the size of the image that you've added to Squarespace. Because one thing that the platform actually does is it actually increases the size of the image once you've uploaded it to Squarespace. So always re-download it, check the size, and then recompress it if needed in order to get it below that 250 kilobytes. However, as I've already mentioned, the absolute maximum should be 500, but you should be aiming for 250. Now, moving on to the fifth, Squarespace SEO tip in order to rank higher on Google. And this one's going to be super, super simple. What I want you to do is head over to SEO space and get started with a seven day free trial. And the reason why I recommend it now, of course, I'm biased. I'm the founder of SEO space. But what you're going to do, you're going to join the thousands of Squarespace website owners, which are getting jargon free step by step guidance outside of the four tips that I've already mentioned in order to rank higher up on Google. Once you've started your seven day free trial and created your account, what you're going to be able to do is take your Squarespace website. So I'm going to take my travel blog here and you're going to be able to add it into SEO space, skip any pages that you don't want to be included in your site wide audit, connect your website to Google Search Console, which if you've already followed the first step in this video, you should have already set up your account before then starting a site wide audit on your Squarespace website. So all I'm going to do is pause the video and come back in a few minutes time once SEO space has gone through the Squarespace site. Once SEO space is finished going through your Squarespace website, all you have to do is click see results where you're going to get an SEO score and then a list of top priority SEO tasks in order to improve the SEO on your Squarespace website. SEO space has already been proven to increase beginners organic search traffic by 68% in two months. So feel free to make the most of the free trial go through all of our support videos which are all free on YouTube and feel free to let me know in the comments how you find SEO space and if you've got any questions. And the reason why I've included this as the final tip is Squarespace unfortunately comes down to much more than five tips. It's an ongoing process and the people that I see do the best on Squarespace are those that do little and often and are consistently pushing towards getting results. So SEO space literally is the best place in order to chip away and get those results. 
There you are, guys. Those are the five Squarespace SEO tips that you can go away with in order to move the needle on your Squarespace site. Of course, if you found this video helpful and you want to get more Squarespace SEO advice to rank higher on Google, outrank the competition and ultimately get leads, then feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.